What happened to the tree? Did you take it back? No, it's in the living room, Mason. And I know the only reason you don't like that tree is because Kirk ordered it. Eden told me all about it. Well, it was a little officious of him, don't you think? I mean, he marries her on Monday, moves in on Tuesday, and Wednesday he's ordering our Christmas tree. Next thing you know, he'll be picking out our ties. Oh, well, you give the poor guy a break, Mason. Why? So he can take over everything else? The company? Christmas trees? Our lives, probably? You are so suspicious of everybody. And you are too trusting and naive. Christmas is the season for that sort of thing. Oh, dear, here we go. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Barbara. I'm going to lunch. Oh, uh, by the way, I notice that you're hanging out with a very enterprising young man. I congratulate you. Well, thank you. I think Nick will accomplish a lot. I'm sure he will. But I was referring to Nick. I meant Dylan. Dylan? Mm-hmm. Well, to start with, Mason, I'm not hanging out with Dylan. No? Are you sure? Will you mind your own business? Please? You know, I'm thinking about becoming an investor in this casino of Dylan's so that I can get an inside track on things. Yeah, well, it's a pity you don't have business of your own to mind. Well, that's because you and Ted won't throw in with me. Until you do, I'm sort of at loose ends, don't you think? Did that come from Daddy's room? Sounded like it. Away from the bed. How dare you? What are you doing in here? I heard a noise. I came to find out what happened. You sure you didn't cause it? Mason, now look, a vase fell. I couldn't imagine what it would have been. Well, Mason didn't have any problem imagining. I don't understand, though. How could it have fallen off the table? Where the hell is the nurse? Nurse! Where the devil have you been? I'm sorry, Mr. Catwell. I went to get the pharmacy delivery at the back door. Well, please don't leave my father alone again. Something happened to that vase of flowers. It fell off the end table. Really? That's odd. Yes. We thought so, too. Could you straighten it up, please? Yes, of course. My daddy, you know, if he'd only wake up before Christmas time, it'd make us all so happy. Except for the person who tried to disconnect his life support system. I don't imagine he or she would be too thrilled. 